me that again. That was a good script. I don't want to miss out on that. Isaiah 10 and 5. Oh, it's searing. The rod of my anger uh, and the staff in their hand is my indignation. Right, because you see even the like, modern day Assyria would be, you know, the Americans or the, the, you know, Esau oppressing the Israelites just like the ancient Assyrians did. Because the ancient Assyrians, they, they uh, enslaved our people, oppressed them, you know what I mean? Same shit's going on today. Ain't nothing new under the sun. Go ahead. I will send him against a hypocritical nation and against the people of my wrath will I give him charge to take the spoil, to take the prey. To and actually, check that out. When you read that, who's that hypocritical nation he's actually talking about? Read it again. I will send him against... He, he, no, read it from the top. Listen. Oh, it's Syrian. Oh, it's Syrian. Go ahead. The rod of mine anger. The rod of mine anger. I mean, he's going to use them. He, the Lord is going to use the Assyrians to fuck a certain people up. Go ahead. And the staff in their hand is my indignation. Go ahead. I will send him against the hypocritical He will send who? He will send the Assyrians against the hypocritical nation. So who's that hypocritical nation? It's Israel. Our people. Go ahead. Because actually, it's really our people are fucking hypocrites. You know what I mean? There's no gooders. They're just evil. Yeah, adult. Like the Lord called y'all a bunch of, uh, it said y'all wicked and adulterous generation. It's constantly, oh, you, you scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites. You, you know what I'm saying? You make the outside clean and appear, but on the inside, you fool a dead man's bones. Hey, get, rid of, get the rest of that. We'll get that in a second. And it says, against the people of my wrath will I give them charge to take the spoil and to take the prey and to tread them down like the mire of the street. Right, just like we read earlier about how our women are going to get treaded down. Now, our people, they're going to get treaded down, bro. I think it's a joke. I think it's a game. Hey, what, what's the Lord doing with Esau right now? He, you made it, like we just talking about the cops are steadily fucking everybody up. You can't even drive down the street without worrying about a cop getting behind you. You don't know what could happen once he pulls you over. Didn't they put troops tro tro on the streets in the car? Yeah, they did right out the National Guard. Charlotte. Yes. Oh, oh you, yeah. And the UN ain't gonna give a fuck. That's gonna be all foreign troops coming over here. Hey, there's been large sightings of UN vehicles in America, too. They said they need they need motherfuckers no one can break. Oh yeah, they have an article on a I forgot what country I think it's Africa. They went in there the uh the rate of uh what's it called human trafficking actually increased. Right, yeah, right, right, right. It's supposed to decrease. Yeah, yeah. Well, of course. That's all they doing is doing their thing. Huh? Oh wow, got him, got him. Is that Jehovah? Yeah. yeah we're talking him on campus. You know what I mean? Yeah, I do remember. Yeah, we're talking him on campus too. Yeah. What's the word doing? Huh? What's the word doing? Word. 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 What, is, what, is, what does Christian mean? You know what that means? What is Christian? What is a Christian? What is a Christian? Christ like? What is a Christ? What is a Christ? What does it mean though? What is the Christ mean? No, we can't Yeah, no, what is what does the word Christ mean? what is anointed? Yeah, you're right. Good morning. So who is anointed according to the scriptures? No, Christ. That's how you say it. But, but who is anointed according to the scriptures? No, no, no. We know, I'm talking, I know Christ. But his people, who are the people that he come to, to save? Oh, I thought sheep of Israel. So a lot of sheep of Israel. All right, you're right. Yeah, but what, but what did they do? Though? Why did Paul go to the Gentiles? Paul went to the Israelites. They, yeah, but what did, what did Jews do? <coughs> okay. Those Gentiles yeah, that Paul is talking to are Israelites. Are they Israelites? Okay, I'm gonna stop it right here. Obviously, you don't want to go what the scripture says. No, we're gonna we're gonna go in the scriptures here. Hold up. The Hold scripture up. said there's no difference between a Jew and a Greek. Right. That's because they're the same because thing. Because they're all in Christ. Let me ask you a question. What does the word Greek mean? In that what does the word Greek? 
Huh? What does the word Greek? It, it just means not that God. No, nah, it's a Helen. When you look it up in the original Greek text, it says Helen, a Hellenist. A Hellenist is a Greek speaking Jew. Okay. Don't you know the Greeks were Israelites? Hey, being a Jew on the advantage of the thing, though. Is that what Paul said? Come here, right? That's because you got you got that's because you have those that Israel did not have Israel. Here you go, don't get off, don't don't lose focus. It's a mystery. Lose focus. It ain't about to lose the focus. Here you I go. Just ain't religion. I'm just not, ain't, interested, this ain't in, religion. This I'm not religion. interested in religion. This ain't religion. That's what you was teaching religion. was religion. No, no, no. I got what the word of God says. You, you misquote the word of God. Child. I didn't misquote it. I just quoted it line for line. There's no difference between Jew or Greek. Jew it means what it says. There's no difference between them. They're the yeah. same. But but see, read you're this. Coming for the, I'm going to read a scripture. I'm going to read a scripture. That's what the Jesus Lord said. said read the scripture. Go. This is 1 Corinthians 12 and 1. Listen to this. Listen, now, bro. concerning spiritual gifts. Now, do you got some spiritual Brother. gifts? We got spiritual gifts over here. You already did? Yeah, listen. Yeah. Listen. Now, concerning spiritual gifts, brethren, I will have... I would not have you ignorant. We don't want you to be ignorant, bro. We want everybody... At the end of the day, we want everybody to get the knowledge, even though it's not going to happen, but go ahead. Ye know that ye were Gentiles. That ye were Gentiles. <laughs> word, what is that word, were? That's past tense. So ye, if you... Oh, go ahead, keep going. Ye know that ye were Gentiles carried away unto these dumb idols. Carried away into these dumb idols. Even as ye were led. Because our people going back thousands, uh, a thousand years before this was written. They was carried away to the lands of the heathens, right? And then they they started worshiping idols. And over the time, they, they started believing in their mind that they was a heathen. And then they, what they was thinking was the truth. But it was, what they didn't realize is it was they, they lost their identity and their nationality. Just read it again. It said, ye were Gentiles. Break that down. Now concerning spiritual gifts, brethren, I will have you not ignorant. Ye know that ye were Gentiles. Hey, since you and Corinthians get 1 Corinthians uh, 10 and... Uh, Hold on, is it 10 and 1 or 11 and 1? So why did Paul say an uh, olive tree and a wild olive tree? So, First Corinthians. Because you got the olive tree represents Israel, okay, but some of our people didn't grow up in Jerusalem. They, they got scattered, and just like you got some plants, the wind will blow the, the little seeds away in the wind, bro, and the seeds get blown away in the wind, and they grow up in the wilderness. You don't know where they at. What you think scattered means? Just like that dandelion. You blow that dandelion seed, Wherever that seed blow, it's still gonna be a dandelion when it grow up. Well, I gotta go get on my bus. We know that. We so, figured that was coming. Yeah. Uh -huh. you know, the scripture says the wicked flee is man pursuing. I got it. Into religion, man. The, the wicked flee is, but no man pursue it. Resist the devil, and he shall flee from you. <laughs> <laughs> he look like he about to go perform an exorcism. <laughs> hey, let's get that first break. Was that ten and one or eleven and one? Uh, I always get confused. I think it's 11. For the brethren, I would not have you should, not that ye should be ignorant yeah. of that all. Let me start. So 1 Corinthians 2. Oh, yeah, that's 2. it. Yeah, yeah. Moreover, brethren, I would not. Oh, uh, before you read it, my fault. All right, now this is just for, you know, truth's sake and the camera's sake. This is going to be, this is right here is going to prove that those, those Greeks Paul is speaking to were Israelites. Okay, this is out of the book of Corinthians. Corinthians gets the name from an actual Greek city called Corinth. All right, it was a giant port city in the ancient Greeks, all right? So read that. Okay, this is 1 Corinthians 10 and 1. Moreover, brethren, I would not that ye should be ignorant how that all our fathers He said, now he's talking to the Greeks. He said, all of our fathers. When you say our, when I say our fathers, like if I tell you our fathers, what does that mean? We got the same fathers, right? <laughs> right, that's what that means. Go ahead. Our fathers were under the cloud and all passed through the sea. He said, our fathers were all under the cloud and passed through the sea. That's talking about the Red Sea. When Israel walked through the Red Sea and the Lord he, uh, the Lord guided them with a, uh, a cloud by day and a pillow of fire by night. That's some chariots, <laughs> right? So read that again. Okay. Uh, how that all our fathers all were under the cloud were under the cloud and all passed through the sea all passed through the sea and were all baptized unto Moses in the cloud and in the sea we was all baptized by Moses <laughs> now the only people that was baptized by Moses and walked through the Red Sea was the nation of Israel that is it well I would just they walked through the sea for a minute but then they got drowned all right so the Lord didn't come to save no Hamites the Lord didn't come to save no Edomites Okay, no Ishmaelites. The Lord. That messes them up, man, because this is incorrect. Oh, uh, that, that does mess them up. You start reading, that's one of them. 
That's one of them jewels right there. Man, they can't get that, man. I don't want For real. I mean, it's clear, though. Ooh. It's plain. That is written. It's plain. Right. It's in black and white, bro. And we're all baptized unto Moses in the cloud and in the sea and did eat and did all eat the same spiritual meat. They all ate the same spiritual meat, bro. And did all drink the same spiritual drink. Oh, shit. For they drank of that spiritual rock that followed them, and that rock was Yahweh Um uh, And they kept saying, you know, us, this is our fathers. So the Paul said that the Greeks' fathers were Israelites. <laughs> but with many of them, the Most High was not well pleased. For they were overthrown in the wilderness. Now these things were our were our examples to the intent we should not lust after evil things as they also lusted. Just like he was explaining to them the gods and all the shit they was into. Right. Because and... that's how our people are. Like you, we had we had Jake and in America come up all the time talking about you know they in the Hinduism, they got their own philosophy. You know what I'm saying? We got we was talking to a dude was that last week or two weeks ago that said he worshipped Osiris. Oh yeah, that he worshipped but he was clearly one of us. Clearly, but he said he wasn't. And he said he, he casted the name Israel away. He said, I'm not an Israelite, I'm an Egyptian. I worship Osiris and Isis. Right. So our people have been doing that for thousands of years, bro. It ain't nothing new under the sun. <laughs> our people always wanna be I like the heathens. <laughs> so when our people go into the heathen state of mind and they take on the heathen philosophies, they even take on the heathen identity. And, and they, you know, they say they are a, a heathen, you know what I mean, pretty much. <laughs> what you got, the nation of Islam teach the uh, people, uh, so-called black people are Moabites. You heard them say they that crazy sure shit? Do. They say, oh, well, I'm a Moabite. Why, where you get that bugged out? Uh, Mo out of all the nations to choose from, you pick Moab? <laughs> Motherfucking Moab? They sure what, do. what grade ever came out of Moab, bro? Oh, no. I can't name one. Yeah. All they got is what? The, the, uh, your boy, the prophet, that got turned to a donkey. <laughs> or not talk, they talk to the they donkey, to my boy. Yeah. Now got turned into a donkey. I'll, I'll mix the stories up between Nebuchadnezzar and... Uh, <laughs> that was, that's numbers. That's numbers. Yeah, numbers. What's his yeah. name? Uh, I get it. Hold on. Let me just run through it real quick. That's, that's bad. That's, that's the greatest thing Moab had to offer, bro. It was a fucked out prophet. Go ahead. Uh, Acts 2 and 5. And there were dwelling at Jerusalem Jews, devout men out of every nation. Yeah, Jew, Jews out of every nation. Read that. I'm sorry. Balaam. Read Balaam. that again. Balaam. Yeah, Balaam. That's it. Yeah. Acts 2 and 5, and there were dwelling at Jerusalem Jews, devout men out of every nation under heaven. Right, because they was in Jerusalem, but they all came from all these different nations, man. Why, why, do, why do you think they always had, why do you think in the ancient Roman empires and in the, in the ancient Greece, you always had gigantic so-called Jewish communities in there? Because those were the people who knew that they were Jews still, and they still kept the customs, but they still lived amongst their people, but their people were gone, you know what I'm saying? But that's why they were still living with them, though. Just like now, we, we still in America, right? We know that we're Israelites. We know what the truth, we know this is the truth, but our people don't know it, look at them. They ain't walking around keeping the, the customs of the Lord and the laws of the Lord. They, they found the laws of America and the ways of America, you ain't know what crying. I mean? They ain't crying. So we're, 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 we're just like them, them them Jews who knew they was Jews in the, uh, in the ancient world. You know what I mean? Because our people, they don't even know they're Israelites. The same thing happened back in the ancient world. It was told. It was told. Right, because they, they was brought in. They, they... Oh, my goodness. Here we go. Neither be ye idolaters as were some of them, as it is written. The people sat down to eat and drink and rose up to play. Neither let us commit fornication as some of them commit and fell in one day three and twenty thousand. Damn, three and twenty thousand. Three hundred and twenty thousand people. Neither let us tempt the anointed as some of them also tempted and were destroyed of serpents. Neither murmur ye as some of them also murmured and were destroyed of the destroyer. Yeah, because our people, they love to murmur and talk shit, boy. That's one of the key trademarks of the Israelites. They love to talk shit and run their mouth. You know what I mean? What is that unbridled tongue? You know what I mean? 
Now all these things happen unto them for examples, and they are written for our admonition. Uh, oh, right, everything here was written, you know what I'm saying, for our admonition. Go ahead. Upon whom the ends of the world are come. <laughs> the ends of the world. <laughs> <laughs> I bet it does it automatically. It's probably built in. I like going into that bank because there's so many people stupid, man. They have no comprehension. Man, it's the same. Our people always been like that, all the way going back, way back when. They're so used to being unbrotherly to each other, man. They don't know how to come together, you know, and, and understand it. Yeah, they, yeah, right. They think everything got to be a. Uh, no, uh. Everything white, gotta be black. a battle. Everything gotta be white, black. Yeah. Oh, yeah, everything gotta be white, black, too. Dumbasses. They, instead of shutting the fuck up, they just can't listen, you know what I mean? They don't wanna listen. They don't even give us a chance to even explain the truth. They don't even wanna let you get to that point. They just, when you try to say something, they're not even listening. They do have to get out of here, but the bus still sitting here. Being sitting here for the moment. Yep. Yeah, it's such a hurry to get back on the But you see, his. There's something wrong with that dude's brain. You said his shape was all misformed. Yeah. yeah. So his brain's probably all, all misshapen. You know what I mean? He's all retarded and shit. He found out about religion. <laughs> he think he just lay on fire, man. Walking that street wearing a tie with your shirt tucked in. <laughs> That's some faggot shit, man. Oh, For real. Shit. Anybody walk around wearing a suit and tie is a big faggot. Yeah. Okay, I just say it the way it is. You gotta look at them with it. Yeah, you gotta look like them. Yeah, that, that's the that's the customs of our, the enemy, man. You just be walking around wearing suits and ties, looking like a fucking douchebag. That's some douchey ass shit, man. I never like even as I was a young child, I always felt uncomfortable wearing a tie and dressing up. I always felt like a douche, you know what I mean? Like my mom used to have to force me to put it on. You know, we used to go to church. She used to force me to wear this bullshit. I didn't want to leave the house. I didn't want to be seen. Um, James 2 and 1. My brethren have not the faith of our Lord and our side. The Lord of glory is respected person. For if there come unto you your assembly a man with a gold ring and goodly apparel, and there comes and also a poor man in vile ring, and ye have respect to him that wear the gate clothing, and say unto him, Sit thou here in a good place, and, th and say to the poor, Stand thou there, or sit here under my footstool. Are ye not then partial in yourselves? Right. Because you'll get a job, people, oh, you got to dress good for your interview, or they're not going to hire you. So what, what kind of, why would you want to work for a place like that that judges you on your appearance? Because that's how this world, everybody, the majority of people judge you by your appearance. Like a lot of women, they'll look down upon you if you're wearing some raggedy shit, you know what I mean? If you go to a church, they're supposed to be the house of God, they'll look down upon you if you're wearing raggedy shit to church. And actually, the scriptures say that, uh, what's that, Matthew 11? It says those that wear uh, gay clothing are in king's houses. Or something like, something like that. Rock 11 and 2. <laughs> that's funny. Oh, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Oh, go ahead, that's the spirit right there. A man, not a man. Didn't you just read James? Yeah. And I, I was just listening to a, uh, a lecture on the book of James and how the book of James is linked into the book of Sirach, too. Because they, 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 there's actually instances in the book of James where they show that he was kind of quoting Ecclesiastes. I see them all. Uh, yeah. Some individuals might be having them eyes, man, that just... Hey, it's Rock 11 and 2. Yeah, if, if I, I'll send you, if I can, I'll send you a link about that. It's about how they show how James was quoting Sir Rock. Okay. There's a few things that have done in these Yeah. I'm about to get another one. It's a man, not a man for his beauty, neither a poor man for his outward appearance. Yeah, you ain't right. You ain't spoke. That goes back to being called a hypocrite. Hey, read that again, because I, I guarantee you that's probably James who actually quoted that. Right. You know what I mean? These people are hypocrites. They say to me all brotherly and love. We all love each other, but 
and they quit to the judge them on because they down on this look. Back when I was in school, boy, you didn't want to go to school with no, with no shoes from shot scenes or nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or get some bobos. Yeah. You'll never hit the end of it, bro. I did, I did everything I can not to be seen, but you had to go. I remember one day my dad got me some generic shoes. Because if you didn't go to school with some Nikes or something, yeah, yeah. that man, that you get cracked on every day. I had some plastic shoes. Oh, man, those are the worst. Hey, but they be mad in the wintertime when you were sliding, though. And you get them plastic shoes, you can slide 20 feet in the snow plastic down. Tennis on the shoes. ice. It's I had some of them joints, too. Plastic tennis shoes. The bottom, the soles is hard as hell. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's like wearing ice skates in the winter. Hey, read that again real quick. It says, Sirach 11 and 2. Commend not a man for his beauty, nor neither abhor a man for his outward appearance. Yeah, so, because a lot of people talk shit about us. Or like Doc Nate and the IUIC. You know, you got a lot of these other people come against us because, you know, the way our garments look. Why, that's why y'all got bummy garments and we got nice garments. I'm like, really? Y'all ain't, no, ain't nowhere even near being locked in with the scriptures. <laughs> nowhere. Go ahead. Uh, verse, let's get to four. It's boast not of thy clothing and remnant. Oh, that's what all they do in these rap songs. And they got your boy a riff rap, tiptoeing in my Jordans. Tip, tip, toe. And then they make whole songs about boasting about their clothes. Riff rap. Is that a rapper? Yeah, white dude. Well, he a Jake, though. But he, you didn't know about riff rap? This boy is gone. I mean, he, he was talking about gone. This boy is gone. Gone. Name says it all. Name says it all. I mean, you watch it, it's pure comedy. Jake. Jake is gone, bro. They, like, they make whole songs about their clothes. Versace. That's all these rappers. That's another thing. All these rappers, all they talking about, they Versace and they, uh, and all this. Who the fuck even want to wear that shit? Don't wear shit, don't even look good to me at all. The Versace shit. It looks stupid. It looks, it, right, it looks stupid. It's, first of all, it's the designers is homosexuals. And they're going to design everything to their life. You know? Now, this is probably the Versace. Shit. Or they, all they, all they, all they tight ass gay shit. Yeah. All tight ass gay and shit. And that, that shit is expensive, too. Expensive. Everything. These homosexuals designing everything. Everything. Oh, the yeah, Macy's, you, man. Everything is for fat. Yeah, you got that rapper, Young Thug. I was watching an interview with him, and he said, when I was growing up, I never thought of something as being in girls' clothing or men's oh, clothing. No, He's no. like, I just wore what I liked. You can't discern between good and evil, clean and dirty. He well, yeah, that he's wearing skirts. Well, I got to show you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. shit. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Thugs wear dresses. Uh, thugs wear dresses. Yeah, you know that motherfucker set up. Young thug. For a dress. Kanye West was wearing a dress on stage. Uh, Jay-Z wearing a dress on stage. Uh, and they're homosexuals, man. And they got their own clothing lines, too. They are. Like you, a wear. To be a, oh, what? Is that for real? Let me see. Oh, no, I did see that. No, I did see that. Wow. I seen that. That's young thug. That's what it means to be a thug in 2016. He doesn't believe in gender. That's bug. That's bug the fuck out. Yeah. We shouldn't even have to explain that one. But you actually got to explain it. Like, you're not supposed to do that. You actually got to explain this shit. And then it's like, give me proof of why not. You're just, you're just full of hate. So they have children. They teach their children. Damn, they just got dead out here, did it? Yeah. This is like, there's like no people out here all of a sudden. The most high just came and just carried the motherfuckers off. Your girl's gone. So I seen your boy trip. Bus driver. Let me read this. This is uh, 1 Corinthians 2 and 13. 2, 2 and 14. Five. But the natural man receiveth not the things of the... Hey, it's a deep scripture right here, though, for sorry. real. This is, like, real important. Right. But the natural man receiveth not the things of the Spirit of the Most High. Because really, this is this really sums up everything, man. 
Yeah, I'll, get speak, that. Dear, I'll toss it. Okay. Let me start again. First Corinthians 2 and 14. But the natural man receiveth not the things of the spirit of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah. And this covers so much stuff. Go ahead. For they are foolishness unto him. Neither can he know them because they are spiritually discerned. Right. And just like we go back to IUIC again, we had this brother come up. He was a light skinned brother. Clearly a Jake, you know what I mean? Clear. And the dad was black. Mom was Italian. Mom's a Jake too. But he got all kind of swag and everything. You know what I mean? Your kids can't be Israelites. My kids and, can't be Israelites. He went up, yeah, talking to the <laughs> IUIC people, and they told him that he was a white man. Yeah, right. That, read that. Cause, read that scripture again. Cause, okay. Because that's those guys. Uh, this is First Corinthians two and fourteen. They they all carnally. They're not in the spirit. You got to be in the spirit. See, we're in the spirit. But the natural man receives not the things of the spirit of the for they are foolishness unto him, neither can he know them. And you know, in the word natural, that comes from physical. The word, uh, the word nature means, uh, well, it comes from the word birth. That's where you get, uh, uh, well, the word nature means physical, physics. So we get the word physics means the laws of nature, the laws of physics. So, right, so the natural man means the physical man, meaning your physical body, your fleshly self. Go ahead. Because they are spiritually discerned. But he that is spiritual judges all things, yet he himself is judged of no man. Let me get this open. Real right. Because you uh, got to be spiritual. And, and when you're being spiritual, no man can judge you. You Romans, see what I'm saying? Romans 8 and 6. For to be carnally minded is death. Yeah, to be carnally, to always to judge everything by physical appearances. That's right death. Now. Them motherfuckers and the cops never fuck with them. Hey, that even goes into the law, too, because a lot of times you got to tell people to repent. So so a lot of times when you're looking at people's uh, fleshly sins, you got to forgive them for that. You got to be spiritual. For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Yeah, you got to be spiritually minded. You got to deal with everybody in the spirit. You can't be, you know, like that old saying, you can't judge a book by its cover. Right. Because the carnal mind is enmity against the most high. For it is not subject to the law of the Most High, neither indeed can be. So then they that are in the flesh cannot please the Most High. Yeah, they just, yeah you ain't going to glorify yourself and exalt yourself through your flesh. All right, that ain't going to happen. Your flesh is wicked. Yep. All of our flesh is wicked. Ain't nobody out here that's just perfect. You know what I'm saying? But ye are not in the flesh, but in the spirit. I bet you them IUIC guys, they try to come off like they're perfect. Like they're perfect. Even though they got... Fought the law perfect and shit. They claim why they fought the law perfect. Wow, we seen the guys out here got zigzags all in the artwork carved in his hair. <laughs> which is totally against the law. <laughs> dreadlocks. Dre they got dreadlocks. <laughs> Scriptures say you're not supposed to have long hair. But here yeah. it is. They, yeah. they, 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 they popping them. They popping them. Well, here it is. They over there glorifying in the flesh. They got, you know... They keep the law perfect, so they claim. But they, and you know, they got the nice garments. So they, all they do is glorify themselves in the flesh. Yep, yep. That's all they doing. They glorifying the flesh, but and we the total opposite. Right. And actually, that's actual uh, Satanism. That's Satanism. You know, because you the Satanism is you know to be carnal. You know, you got glorified in the flesh. Supposed to be trying to get on with the training. Hey, let me get that scripture, bro. Okay, I'm reading this, but ye are the not training. in the flesh. See that training down there in the busman stand next to it? But in the uh, spirit. But if so be that the spirit of the Most High dwell in you. Now, if any man have not the spirit of, of Yahweh, but Shem Yahweh Shai, he is none of his. I get 1 John 2 and 15. It's important because it just goes in with that flesh, that, that lusted after the flesh and all that. Being carnally minded. Yeah, okay. He says, he says first John, first John 2 and 15. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. Right, when you you got IUIC, they making rap videos, trying to, you know, trying to be superstars, trying to wake up all their people. They they're gonna wake up because they want to save the whole world. 
We're trying to out here hoping that the whole world gets saved. We hoping all these motherfuckers die. You know what I'm saying? And then the Lord makes a speedy riddance of them, just like the scripture says. I'm gonna get that scripture, the speedy riddance scripture. Go ahead. And that's actual, actual scripture. Any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. If any man love these these wicked ass people, ain't the love of the Father is not in you. Go ahead. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the flesh, and the lust of the eyes, the lust of the eyes, the pride of life, and the pride of life. Not of the Father, but it's of the world. And that's that spirit that's out here. Everybody, like we was just talking about the rap song, the rap music, all they talk about is the lust of the flesh. They got this, they got that, they got the best clothes, the best jewelry, the best car, the best bitch. You know what I mean? They got your bitch. <laughs> that's what they rap about. Yeah, your bitch. Your then, wife. Yeah. Go ahead. The world passes away and the lust thereof. He that doeth the will of the most high mind it forever. Right, so all these fools, they, they talk all the shit they want. They can be evil, wicked as want they want, but guess what? They're not gonna last forever. They, 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 you know what I'm saying? They gonna the little girl make a speedy riddance. And let me get it real quick. That uh but hold that, I wanna read the rest of that. <laughs> Zephaniah 1 at 18. Neither their silver nor their gold shall be able to deliver them in the day of the Lord's wrath. And that goes hand in hand with that too, right? That silver, you know, they always trusting in, in, in carnal things and physical things instead of trusting in the spirit. Neither their silver nor their gold shall be able to, to deliver them in the day of the Lord's wrath, but the whole land shall be devoured by the fire of his jealousy. For he shall make even a speedy riddance of all of them that dwell in the land. Now look, he's gonna make a speedy riddance of these In one hour. Two, that's that two, two thirds are gonna you know, speedily, they gonna, what's that old, uh, the old say? Good, good riddance, yeah, good riddance to bad rubbish. You know what I mean? They just you say that in the Looney Tunes cartoons. One hour. One hour, yeah, one hour. There ain't enough time to do a motherfucker. That's enough time to burn. <laughs> yeah, that, them missiles though, when the missiles start burning, they don't take long. Ooh. Once it hits and goes out. Hey, read the rest of that. Little children, it, it is the last time as ye have heard that the answer Christ shall come. Right, it's the last we in the last days right now. Go ahead. Even now are they many antichrists. Now, even now there are many antichrists. And you see it, everywhere you look, there's just antichrist after antichrist. I don't believe the Bible, that's bullshit. There's no goddamn Jesus. That's not bullshit. They, they, they just go nuts on you, bro. Go ahead, they'll gnash your teeth at you telling you how it's all bullshit. Go ahead. Everybody, you know that it is the last time. They went out from us, but they are not of us. But we have been of us. They will no doubt have continued with us. I like that shirt. Right, that's a lot of people. I like that shirt. Look, look at this shirt. What was it? Let me read your shirt. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one, though. Yeah. That's a J. Fooley Lance right there. Hey, wherever we got issues. <laughs> I got my issues I got to deal with. You know what I mean? You know, you know. Go ahead. <laughs> hey, we all fucked up in one way or another. <laughs> And <laughs> hey, that's part of that being spiritual shit, though. To understand that. A lot of people can't understand that. It's funny at the same time this shit ain't. <laughs> shit. Yeah. Whew. Go ahead. <laughs> they, they went out that they might manifest that they were not all of us. Right, because you have some people that used to be with us teaching the truth. But where are they at now? They're gone. I ain't seen them. Where are they, niggas? You know, they couldn't. Good right. Too. They had to go back into the world. Now, that's crazy as hell, bro. Why would you want to go back to the world? That's Ain't got nothing to offer. Well, I got the scripture for you. It's Every time you're around the worldly people, I mean, the conversation of the wicked, it vexes you. Yeah. Here you go, Acts 7 and 40, 51. Ye stiff necked and uncircumcised in heart and ears, you do resist, you do always resist the Holy Spirit. Ooh, that's a good one. As your fathers did, so do ye. Wow. Which of the prophets have not your fathers persecuted? And they have slain them which showed before of the coming of the just one 
of whom ye have been now the betrayer and murderer. I mean, that's talking about our people, Israel. That's what that's what uh, Stephen was cursing out the yeah. Israelites, yeah. right? Yeah. And he was telling, he, he said it to his own people, y'all wicked as hell. Yeah. You killed your the, the, your own your own holy men. We're doing the same thing. And if they could get away, if they could kill us, they would try to. Yeah. Stephen's out here now. Yeah, you Stephen's out here teaching the scriptures again. It's true. Yeah. Who have received the law by the disposition of angels and have not kept it. When they heard these things, they were cut to the heart. They got the law by the disposition of angels. Because every time we're back in the ancient world, bro, we had angels with us. You know what I'm saying? We would, the Lord sent angels out in the battle. We used to go fight against the heathens with actual angels with us in the battle, fighting alongside with us. We're here now, we're just going to see. And then the angels came down and gave prophecies to Ezra, gave prophecies to Daniel. You know what I'm saying? Actually spoke face to face with the angels. The angels sp spoke with the Ezekiel. <laughs> to John. Well, even though that was after Acts. But... Um, this is first, second Maccabees 10. And um, uh, I'm going to start at 25. But when he drew near... They that were with Maccabeus turned themselves to pray unto the, mo the Most High and sprinkled earth upon their heads and girthed their loins with sackcloth and fell down at the foot of the altar and besought him to be merciful to them and to be an enemy to their enemies and an adversary to their adversaries as the law declared. So that, so after... They took their weapons and went on further from the city. And when they drew near to the enemies, they kept by themselves. Now the sun being newly risen, they joined both together, the one part having together with their virtue, their refuge also unto the Lord for a pledge of their success and victory, the other side making their rage leader of their battle. But when the battle waxed strong, there appeared unto the enemies from heaven five calmly men upon horses with, with bridles of gold, and two of them led the Jews, and took Maccabees betwixt them, and covered him on every side with their weapons, and kept him safe, but shot arrows and lightnings against the enemies, so that being confounded with blindness and full of trouble, they were killed. Just a small example how the angels was right there with uh, Israelites back in the day. We gotta go by spirit to spirit now, you know. No, I said yeah. spirit. We gotta go by faith. Well, that is, you know. Well, that is the spirit. Yes. Right, right, correct, <laughs> correct. You're right, you're right. Which, like I said, the angels here now. We just don't see. Yeah, them, you know? this everything is all about faith. I mean, we didn't have faith. We didn't bother doing this. <laughs> right. right. A lot of people don't know what faith but is. yeah, but there you go. Back to how you I see. I guess that's the, our arch nemesis out here. <laughs> the Lord made it like that. We didn't. Well, I didn't even know them dudes were even out here at first, but. Every week we come up here and people talking about them. Like the difference between you guys, there's a big difference between you two groups. You know, they always say that. Every week. Every week. Every it's like a, we got a new witness, people testifying on them. Cause that's like, you know, when the scriptures talking about the little bird, watch what you say, because the little bird are carried away. Ecclesiastes. They got all these little birds out here, and you say, saying all this nonsense. This yeah, this somewhere, this I forget where that's at, man. Song to song. It's been so long since I read. Uh, right, let me see if I can find it. Uh, yeah, we need to actually bring that out. You bring that out a lot. Yeah, I brought it out quite a few times. Oh, I got another. What you got? Angel scripture? Uh, yeah, this here. Is here. Okay, bring it out. I got a, I got another priest about how the angel, the Lord sent an angel. It's, uh, John 4 and 24. The Most High is the Spirit. They that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Right, in spirit and in truth. In, you got to worship the Lord in spirit, not in the flesh. Because the worship, worshiping the Lord according to the flesh means every time you sin or something, you got to go sacrifice an animal. You know what I mean? Or if somebody broke the law, you got to go kill them, stone them. We're, not, we're, not, we're in the spirit now. We worship in the spirit. Go ahead. Ecclesiastes 10. Okay. Ecclesiastes 10 and 20. Curse not the king, no not in thy thought. And curse not the rich in thy bedchamber, for a bird of the air shall carry the voice, and that which hath right. made shall tell the matter. That's why anytime you're talking to anybody on this planet, you better make sure you talking according to the scriptures, and you, you know you ain't speaking evil. 
because, or especially speaking evil of uh, other godly men or whatever. Because a little bird is going to hear what you said. They're going to carry it away. They're going to go tell on you. And specifically us, because I like how it says. Yeah, it's really talking about us. Because it says, and curse not the rich. Yeah, curse not the yeah. who their riches to wisdom. Oh, that's true. You know, well, even back in the, the ancient, when we was in our kingdom in the ancient world, let's say during the time of King David, you don't want to be sitting talking bad about the king that the Lord anointed. They did, because like, somebody going to hear it. They're going to they <laughs> take it back to him. He's going to find out. You know what I'm saying? That's like all those words, I U I C. They think we don't know what they're saying, but we always got the little birds coming over and telling us what oh, they're yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Every week we get a new testimony. Every week. Uh, well, I was about to read, because remember we were talking about the angel earlier? I mean, I could read it real quick. Uh, what is it talking about? How the, the, the Assyrians. They had to siege Jerusalem, you know, under, uh, and they, you know, they was, they was about to try to fight against uh, King Hezekiah. I don't even know where to start, man. <laughs> Alright, man, where should I start? Man, I, I just, I just want to read it all, I guess. I'll try to go through it quick, because I wanted to make sense, you know what I mean? Right, 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 right. Second Chronicles tw uh, 32 and 9. After this, did uh, Sennacherib, I still don't know how to pronounce that king's name. He's a famous Assyrian king. Uh, Sennacherib, king of Assyria, sent his service to Jerusalem, but he himself laid siege against Lachish and all his power with him. And unto Hezekiah, king of Judah, and unto Judah, and, and unto all Judah that were at Jerusalem, saying, Thus say Sennacherib, king of Assyria, whereon do ye trust that ye abide in the siege in Jerusalem? Does not Hezekiah persuade you to give over yourselves to die by famine and by thirst, saying, The Lord of our God shall deliver us out of the hand of the king of Assyria? Have not the same Hezekiah taken away his high places and altars and commanded Judah and Jerusalem, saying, You shall worship before one altar and burn incense upon it? Because King Hezekiah was a righteous king, right? Unlike a lot of the other kings. And he you know he took down those high places. It was mean the high places to Baal. That's what he took down. And the king of Assyria was saying that was a bad thing that he, you know, stopped devil worshiping. Know ye not what I and my fathers have done unto all the people of other lands? Remember, this is the, the king of Assyria talking. Were the gods of the nations of those lands anyways able to deliver their lands out of my hand? So he's boasting, right? Who was there among all the gods of those nations that my fathers utterly destroyed that could deliver this people out of my hand, that your God should be able to deliver you out of my hand? So he's boasting, saying that the idols didn't save the other heathen nations. So he was trying to tell the Israelites, you know, that the Lord wasn't going to save them. Now, therefore, let not Hezekiah deceive you, nor persuade you on his matter. Neither let, neither yet believe him, for no god of any nation or kingdom was able to deliver his people out of mine hand and out of the hand of my fathers. How much less shall your god deliver you out of mine hand? And his servant spake yet more against the Lord God and against his servant Hezekiah. He wrote also letters to rail on the Lord God of Israel, and to speak against him, saying, As the gods of the nations of other lands have not delivered their people out of mine hand, so shall not the God of Hezekiah deliver his people out of mine hand. Now, almost to the point. Then they cried with a loud voice. It was a long one, boy. Hey. Then they cried with a loud voice in the Jews' speech. Check that out. Unto the people of Jerusalem that were on the wall, to affright them and to trouble them that they might take the city. And they spake against the God of Jerusalem as against the gods of the people of the earth, which were the work of the hands of man. Right? Because all them gods of the heathens is all idols. All them gods of the Egyptians is just the figments of a, your imagination. They're just sticks and stones. You know what I mean? And for this cause, Hezekiah, the king, and the prophet Isaiah, the son of Amos prayed and cried to heaven. And Yahweh sent an angel 
which cut off all the mighty men of valor and the leaders and captains in the camp of the king of Assyria. So he returned with shame of face to his own land. And when he was coming to the house of his God, they that came forth of his own bow slew him there with the sword. So, that, so you know, the king of Assyria was talking all that shit. And then he went after it, the, the Lord sent an angel to fight for Israel and, you know, just totally destroyed the Assyrian army. And for that, his own people were ashamed of him and they killed his ass. All that's where all that shit talk to get you. Get you dead. Thus, Yahweh saved Hezekiah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem from the hand of Sennacherib, the king of Assyria, and from, from the hand of all other, and guided them on every side. So how did he guide with the angel? The Lord said, the angel. Just like he was talking about in, uh, what was that, Acts 7 chapter? And many brought gifts unto Yahweh to Jerusalem in presence to Hezekiah, king of Judah, so that he was magnified in the sight of all nations from thenceforth. In those days, Hezekiah was sick to the death and prayed to Yahweh, and he gave, spake to him and gave him a sign. But it goes on and on, and Hezekiah prayed to the Lord, and the Lord said he was going to die, but then the Lord said, oh, I'm going to let you live for a few more years or whatever. Right. So, you know, that's a long one, boy, boy. And it's just an instance in the scriptures, though, where the Lord sent an actual angel to fight with the Israelites, and, you know, to help save us, to deliver us. That's right. Here's another one. What do you think is going to happen when the Lord told you? When he comes out of the clouds, he's coming with what? Legions of angels. Oh, they're going to be physically here in a minute. Well, they, right. They're well, they going to be, right. <laughs> and that, this was just one angel he sent. Just one angel. Right. That, that just totally destroyed the Assyrian, Assyrian army. And there's another scripture here that might be the, the, the same account in the book of Kings where it gives you an actual number of how many he killed. It was a lot. You know what I mean? What about that one that um, after David sinned and he took the, I'll choose this. Oh, and then he killed the Israelites. Yeah, that oh, one I, angel was slaughtering oh, Israel to the most high. Yeah. Stop I'll him. get it, yeah. But let me go into 2 Maccabees again. This is uh, 8 and 16. So Maccabeus called his men together unto the number of 6,000 and exhort them not to be stricken with terror of the enemy, nor to fear the great multitude of the heathen who came wrongfully against them, but to fight manfully and to set before their eyes the injury. The, the Did it say fight manfully? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> that they had unjustly done to the holy place and the cruel handling of the city, where they made a mockery and also the taking away of the government of their forefathers. For they, said he, trust in their weapons and boldness, but our confidence is in the almighty power, Yahweh, but Shem Yahweh Shai, who at a beck can cast down both them that come against us and also all the world. Moreover, he recounted unto them what helps their forefathers had found, and how they were delivered when under uh, Senna Sheriff and hundred fourscore and five thousand perished. Oh, that, that's that. What was that? The Snatcher Rebbe? That's the same king. Is that was it? Um, I wasn't paying attention. I was looking this up. Sinat Sheriff. Sure. Yeah, that's the same guy we just talked about. Okay. You, Did he right. just quote the history on that? Right. Is that what that was? Yeah. Yeah, yeah he, he was. That's the spirit, though. He was, you know, looking back. Go ahead. Hundred four score and five thousand pairs. And he told them of the four, battle. Four score is what? Eighty. Mm -hmm. Four score, yeah. Yeah, so what, how many was that? Hundred and four score? Hundred and four score. And right. 5,000. <laughs> Damn. And he told them of the battle that they had in Babylon with the Galatians, how they came but 8,000 in all to the business with 4,000 Macedonians, and that the Macedonians being perplexed, the 8,000 destroyed at 120,000 because of the help that they had from heaven. Yeah, that's that help, that's that angel. <laughs> and we gonna get that help again, like I said, when the Lord returns to the earth, he come up with the, the, all the holy hosts to heaven, all the legions, that not just one. <laughs> like back in the old day, the Lord sent us, give you one angel. Now this time around, he gonna get, we gonna get a whole legion of angels. That curse, that curse, that go forth. Yeah, forward. that's a whole, yeah, you don't want, <laughs> y'all yeah. wicked devils, you don't want to see them yeah. legions, boy. And so, and so received a great booty. Okay. <laughs> Thus when 
he had a, made that's them. That's a good word though, the great booty yeah. boy. Thus when he had made them bold with these words and ready to die for the laws and the country, he divided his army into four parts and joined with himself his own brethren, leader of each band, to with Simon and Joseph and Jonathan, giving each one 1,500 men. They're just going into some more history. They went a long story, boy. Yeah, right. He started running out of breath, boy. Now, that's why you gotta do a lot of reading on your own, man. We can't give you everything. Because sometimes, you know, we get going to something that might be a little long-winded. That is a point, though, bro. You got because you really you want to get the truth. You gotta dig it deep. You gotta read, man. Yeah, blesses of he who readeth. Not blesses he who. Readeth. I, well, back in the ancient world, they should tell you in the uh, in the Bible about how the high priest on the certain holy days of the Sabbath, they, everybody would come together and he would read the whole law to the people. They told you. They tell you what uh, was that? Ezra and Nehemiah was doing that, right? Well, all the, that, that was always our custom. The, the priest, his job was to read the whole law to the people. And you you going to sit there and you're going to listen. You're going to listen. You're going all along with it. Oh, okay. You come and you get smacked upside the head complaining. Second Ezra 16 and 24. It says, For there appeared unto them a horse with a terrible rider upon him. That's, that's, that's that scripture right there. And a board with a very fair covering, he ran fiercely and smoked at Heliodorus with his forefeet. Heliodorus, that means, uh, how you spell that? Oh, that's the one that kicked off the horse and he, the horse kicked, kicked yeah. his ass. Yeah, Heliodorus. And that means gift to the sun, Heliodorus, go ahead. It is seen that he had, that, that, uh, that he sat upon the horse at complete harness goat. Over two other young men, that's that angel right there. That's an angel. Period before him, notable in strength, excellent in beauty, and comely in apparel. Can you imagine that beautiful sight? You be, yeah, your boy shit himself. Yeah. He literally shit himself in the story somewhere, didn't he? When he, his smell was so bad or something? Yeah. It's worse than shit. Yeah, it was worse than shit, right. Go ahead. Who stood by him on either side and scourged him continuously and gave him many sword strikes. He uh, <laughs> beat his ass. ass. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's one thing the Lord loves to do is to beat someone's ass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and Hildorus fell suddenly unto the ground and was compassed with great darkness. <laughs> I just laugh and think about the Lord beating someone's ass, bro. <laughs> he motherfucker. He, he's motherfucking. They that were with him took him up and put him into a letter. I'm sure, bro. I, I just be busting out laughing out of nowhere, just envisioning when Nehemiah whipped that dude's ass. I never get tired of that, man. They just put a smile yeah, on you. This piece of shit was talking shit and boast. Yeah, boast talking shit. You no, know, he was just extreme. He was extreme. But he was an Edomite, though. Threshed them, and late and lately came with, wait, and lately came with a great train of all his guard into a said treasury. They carried out, being unable to help himself with his weapons, and man, manifestly they acknowledged the power of the Most High, for he by the hand of the Most High was cast down, and lies and lay speechless for all hope of life. Without all hope of life, he's speechless. He's, he's gonna talk his shit down in front, in front of his men. You know that had to be humiliated. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's talking about the ultimate humbling experience. You know, it's hard to humble the fucking Edomite. Only way to do that is through death. Yeah, yeah. Enslavement. That's how that, how you think you're going to get humbled this time around? Oh. Let's get to uh, 37. This is it says, and when the king asks oh, Doris, Met by a fit man to be sent yet once again to Jerusalem, he said, If thou hast an enemy or traitor, send him thither, and thou shalt receive him well scored. If he escape with his life, for in that place no doubt there is an, a special power of the Most High. So. Yeah, that whole story where you do Hilly Doors, the Most High fucked him up, man. 
Cause you read, you got remember too the remember like they said the Lord sent an angel. Cause uh the Seleucids, they was bad dudes, man. They had giant armies, they had war elephants. That's what you know the Macedonians was fighting against the uh the Macedonians, you know, the Seleucids. They had war elephants and all all kind of weapons of war. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. Yeah, the Lord said that angel, that didn't mean shit after that. Hmm. Can you imagine going in a battle fighting against elephants? Mm -hmm. It is a scripture that talks about the elephants too. In the Maccabees. About the war elephants? I'm going to look it up. They got the, uh, they got the, I don't, uh, I don't know their names, but the, the princess, the, the queen, Prince Philip and her, uh, his son and his wife, yeah. they just had the, the baby, and they just had a baby daughter now. They're torn. They're torn the world. All you talk about, you said Phil, I was thinking, Phil II, Macedonia. Right. Oh, right. I'm, 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 <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm fast forwarding up into <laughs> right. the present. Hey, they, they, Just like Revelation. That's, does. A, that's their ancestor. That's what Revelation does. Oh, yeah, he's Prince Skip Philip and Queen Elizabeth. Yeah. yeah they, they feel they tore. They, they tore? tore everywhere. You know, that, I can't know, believe that bitch is still alive. Not, not, not her. They're oh, the kid. About, the son, oh, the the kid. son kid. that married that bitch. Oh, William and. Uh, right, right, right. What's that bitch's name? Right. Uh, I can't remember their names, but the, they just they had a son first. Yeah. Now they just had, they a, had, had a daughter. One. They had a daughter. Yeah. yeah. And they torn. They torn the world, man. You know. And they gonna get. A, they gonna be made ashamed, and they gonna get thrown down in front of the world. They don't even look like royalty, bro. Oh, hell no. You hell know what no. I mean? They look like. No. They look like little creatures from the dark lagoon, or uh, what is that shit? They look like. They got found. They look like man. golems, people. Yeah. Like I've looked, you know, like ogres and orcs. Bitch is built for. She ain't got no hips. She ain't got no nothing and nothing, bro. She just flat, man. Hey, uh, Prince Williams is goofy as hell looking. Just... Right, right. Air falling. <laughs> it don't look nothing like royalty. Nothing like. Nothing like. How do they spell elephant? What's in the, the Bible? brother's name? The Harry, the crazy one. Those yeah, Prince Harry. Harry. The crazy. One. Yeah, he like to he likes to kill people for fun. In his helicopter. Oh, here it is. They're going to be cast down in front of the world. They're going to get beaten from them. They're going to get beat bad. Slavery. Slavery. Oh, here's one right here. Second Maccabees 13 and 15. And having given the watchword to them that were about him, victory is of God. With the most valiant and choice young men, he went into the king's tent by night and slew in the camp about 4,000 men and the chiefest of the elephants with all that were upon them. Our people was killing elephants, bro. Second Maccabees. We had to read the whole chapter to get the context. But uh, that was all about, you know, our people fighting the Seleucids. Today was called the, the Seleucids would, you know, the, they was trying to force Hellenism on our people. Trying to force us to worship Jupiter. Hey, that tells you Jupiter's in there too. It tells you that they was trying to force him to worship Zeus, and, have, and they were sacrificing swine on the altar of the Lord. So that's when our people they rose up and they started fighting them. That's got to be some crazy shit. You going to battle with the elephants though? Fucking elephant, fucking war elephant, bro. Yeah, they mentioned that quite a bit. Yeah, it's in there, bitch. Quite a bit. Yeah, that's how the Seleucids got down. Just think, them, them ancient battles weren't no joke, bro. Motherfuckers fighting on elephants. That's what you do. Hannibal, he was famous for using elephants against the Romans. That was the tank of the ancient world. Plus, you could put a, like a little miniature house on top of that elephant. Put, put, armor. put, put yeah, armor. put put armor on the elephant. Then you put archers on top of it. You know what I mean? Everything under the sun. The tanks they got now, that's some bad shit. And they said, I heard I was just reading an article on the new tanks, and they was great in everybody's tanks. They said the uh, Israelis have pretty good, uh, pretty good uh, the armored tanks. They said the United States have the. The weakest of all the powerful yeah, nations. Sure. And the Russians had the best tanks. Yeah. And they say they gotta play years of catch up and tank too. Yeah. yeah. America's slipping. Bad, man. Russian, hey, you got... see hey some shit just happened. Uh 
America broke pretty much broke the treaty with Russia over in Syria. Mm -hmm. they, they killed like what sixty some people. Yeah. yeah. Syrian troops. I saw, they, I saw Russia responded to. Yeah, they did. I was about to say Russia responded and they they attacked. Uh, and they said they killed a bunch of so-called Israelis. Israeli American. Yep. Uh, yeah, yeah, because yeah, the yeah. Russia Ben had the tab on. They knew where they had, it was CIA people they killed, yeah. intelligence yeah, officials. Right back. <laughs> and like, because Russia didn't know where the intelligence headquarters. Right. Right. They they knew where they was at the whole time, bro. Yeah. If y'all if America and Israel was so slick, why did <laughs> how, why y'all why why the Russians just get you? That's beautiful, man. It's about to pop off over there. It really is. Because America now they're discussing the no fly zone. That wasn't even really in the news too much. Nah, nah, they nah, just sure touched us. Sure what? Yeah, they talking about no fly zone, no Russian and Syrian troops. They talking about no. Everybody else can fly, but not a Russian and Syrian. Oh, that's crazy, man. That's only a devil that do some shit like that. Bro. But that showed that was to me that was a big event right there. Yeah, sure. When right, because that's pretty much Russia saying, pretty much attacking America. Pretty much. That's a big deal right there. That tells you that peace treaty was broken. It was never broken. Well, pretty much. <laughs> But it wasn't Russia that broke the treaty. That's right. You know what I mean? Right, right. They didn't. They they kept. They they upheld the end of the deal. They hit that uh they, that that convoy of uh leaf or whatever you call it. Uh, uh, America hit that convoy. That yeah, it was a, the the Syrian army. Right. They, it was the America attacked the people who were fighting ISIS. If that makes any sense. <laughs> but we supposed to be worried about ISIS. They're exposing them for the devil. They and you know, actually you know the average American too. They're scared. Oh no, goddamn! ISIS attacked us again. We had to go get them. They dummies, bro. Oh, that's your boy. He said, all kind of people out here, bro. Yeah, I told you before, but I remember you even talked to you before. Anyway, uh, you yeah. don't know, see what? Man, you gotta know your nationalities. You know, when the Lord comes back, man, he ain't gonna say nobody that don't know who they are. You know, when Israel is That's it. Being a nigga, or African American, you're just right now. Shit this, is, this is twice we done seen you. Yeah, right. Two times, hey. You supposed to, after all that time, since we last seen you, you supposed to walk up with some info. Oh man, y'all was right. Uh, y'all, I looked that shit up. Y'all was right. <laughs> right, right, right. Like we said, man, that door closing, man. You can just get on Google, type in, "Who are Israelites?" And you want them. I heard the beautiful teacher talking about going into the history of how the angels love us and how they you know, support us in wars and battles and stuff, man. That's an attraction, man. That attracts you, man. You think the angels came, you came down and for us, they didn't come down for them Edomites or them Hamites. And <laughs> yeah, actually, the angels are our brothers, actually. That's right. That's right. Slowly stepping away. Just one little step at a time. Oh, he's out of there. Yeah, they do it. They always do. They do that little. They do one little step, then another little step, then the steps get bigger. They, like, oh shit! These crazy motherfuckers. I can like somehow over there talking to them. Like, oh, hold up, no. <laughs> Yo, oh, I wanted to get this one too earlier too. Man. Eat a mic. Eat a mic. Oh, okay. Uh oh. Eat a mic. Eat up. Hey man. Eat on. Hey, this is Sir Rock. I mean, I'm Sir Rock. Second Ezra. Hey, so y'all know your nationality? What y'all got there? Y'all know your biblical Eat a mic? Well, I got there, but thanks. Everything uh, else. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Esau. Biblical Eat a mic. He said he likes to suck cock. Alright, guys. And they do, they like sucking cocks. I'll take the eat of my women though. Hey, hey, that's our possession, man. Hey. Oh, that's ours. Oh shit, let me get the script. You no, know, that's ours. All these women. You know, except the Israelite woman that We're we gonna them take them big, we're gonna toss them off the cliff. <laughs> <laughs> ain't taking no women, bro. 
man. Just like our forefathers did it. Imagine the creative ways you don't have just the man, it's gonna be crazy, man. The creative things that will come up. You got we're gonna have like the, the Esau Olympics. <laughs> like there ain't gonna be no discus throw, it's gonna be the Esau throw. You know what I mean? I just can't wait to have you give each of them a nine miles. Let them go at it, man. Two eat a or gangs are Oh, yeah, it's like fight pit food. Football and the King are going to be playing with knives. Oh, know? yeah, we're going to bring back gladiatorial games. Yep, yep, yep. That's just fun, bro. Yep. yep. And they coming back at a full, um, full, full. Shit, we going to go down there and try to fight us. Shit. Yeah, that, that shit ain't got nothing to do with it. They ain't going to have nothing to do with it. They ain't going to have nothing compared to the uh, gladiator fights we're going to have. Oh, hell no. They have back there. They weren't even doing it right. Just like, uh, oh that, yeah. That, that Edomite might just turn 12. He's a man now. Put that motherfucker in there against that line and that, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Gladiator, dude. that's some crazy shit if you think about it. Yeah. It was actually a one time on this planet gladiator game where motherfuckers fought to the fucking death. And that was the top sport. That's bugged out. There's all kind of movies on it. That's crazy. All kind of movies on it. If you move inside of one thing going on. And then you had the Emperor like, well you've seen the movie Gladiator, but that's not totally true, but the Emperor uh, Commodus, uh, Marcus Aurelius' son, he really, he really did fight in the Gladiator game. He actually really, he was an actual emperor going down there fighting people. He enjoyed it. And, and then he, then he depicted himself as a uh, Hercules on the coins. He always showed himself with the club. He, you know, you thought he was a god. And the Roman emperors were bugged out. Yeah, it was all thick. Maybe that bitch could be a Jake or something. I don't know. Yeah, that big like, fat ass. That's a good movie though for uh, Gladiator. Well, beside Gladiator, I mean, what about that Ben Hur shit? That's kind of well, that's more of the, the Hippodrome when it's I, racist. I can't stop myself from watching it. I know there's some more movies I can't think of right now. Uh, they go into it a little bit in uh, Quote Vegas. Uh, quote man, Quote Vegas. That's one of my favorite Roman movies, bro. By the Emperor Emperor Nero. It's got uh Peter Peter uh fuck what's that motherfucker? Hey Nero, this is an example of what they gonna do now, how they making shit happen and blaming it on us. Yeah. Nero did that same shit back then too with uh yeah, he burned burning the city. the city down and blamed it on the Israelites, man. Nero wasn't no That's problem. pretty much what that uh <laughs> that, that all that Black Lives Matter. They said that the, the riots that happened down in uh Charlotte they said 70% of the people that got arrested had out of state oh, yeah, IDs. They, weren't even, from there, they huh? weren't even from there. That was shipped in, bro. Hey, you see the video where they grabbed the white motherfucker and tried to throw, him, throw him in the fire? They threw him in the fire. <laughs> <laughs> that shit was dope as fuck, man. That, that bitch jumped on him was protecting him, too. What the fuck? Wow. There's going to be more and more of that, bro. Wait till these Alexis. I can't yeah. wait. Damn. Bro, I can't wait. Hey, hey the, 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 the first debate, though, was Monday. They should so could go down to the debate. Assassination attempt. Anything's possible with this crazy shit. That's the move, bro? I think so. The first one. I knew it was some up, they, they, You know the big talk of the town is can Hillary make it yeah, yeah, she for, 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 without coughing? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> they talking about not giving her somewhere to say and sit down to her. Yeah. I'm just curious. I can't wait. Bro. I can't wait. It's going to be. Wait, it's better than the Super Bowl, bro. It's sure the hell is. The hell with football. I'm ready to watch the. I'm ready to watch the, this motherfucker burn. That's a super. That's a Super Bowl for us. That's what you know. Winning the championship is when all this shit gets destroyed. The hell with your championship, bro. We gonna win the kingdom of heaven. All this shit's gonna just be destroyed. Yeah, lots of it. Lots of it. One day, Israelites, Israelites love some booty. Some clean booty. We're going to get all the booty. Bootay. Yeah, you just want to like, you see this. Like, wow. Opening it up, and what's in there? It's kind of complicated. 
But what's that smell? <laughs> it's like that. Clean shit. Yeah, not that shit gonna funk up the whole room. Ooh, ooh. Bro, oh man, I can't even say it. Man, what if somebody might be watching the video? I might get I have to tell you later. You're right. I done witnessed some shit this weekend, oh, boy. boy. I can imagine, bro. I don't wanna incriminate myself. I can <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't do nothing wrong. I just don't want right. to be. Right. You got spies out there. I gotta keep my personal life personal. No no Motherfuckers did it. Cause you know, if you got haters to watch our videos, bro. They just waiting for some information. Looking to track you down and all kind of shit. Fucking faggots. You got something you want to bring out? Go ahead. Isaiah 45, 14. Thus saith Yahweh, the labor of Egypt, and merchandise of Ethiopia, and of the Mesopotamians. Men of stature shall come over unto thee, they shall be done. They shall come after thee, change, they shall come over, and they shall fall thee down unto them. They shall make supplication unto thee, saying, Surely God is in thee. There is none else, there is no God. Super Right. And that's the same thing as Isaiah. We was reading that earlier, Isaiah 2, how all nations are going to come to Jerusalem to, you know, to learn in the ways of the Lord, and they're going to bow down. It's just like that famous scripture was that Philippians, every knee shall bow. Now everybody gonna bow, bro. They might for temper, they might blaspheme me right now. They, you gonna bow. You gonna take that knee. There's no doubt about that. We ain't blessed right now. We ain't blessed because nobody bowed down to us. That's what the word means. Right. Yeah, no way. I mean, even if it's, every once in a while you'll have somebody that gets somebody to bow to them, but that's yeah. Cause they, that, yeah, I mean, yeah, but that ain't nothing. I don't even want nobody bowing to me in this kingdom. You know what I mean? And then, that's just that's just that's not even that's not even you still in hell right after that has done up done the number. Yeah, it was the point. We still in subjection our damn so Right, right. Oh, we gonna, we gonna, they gonna bow for real. Bow. Hey, I'm gonna get that. Why they bow? We gonna still crack them in the head. Crack. Oh, perfect scripture. You know? Crack. This is one of my favorite scriptures of all time. Shit. And my revelation. Children and everything. Crack them. You fuck their children around. Exactly. They, they gonna all get cracked. They get, head. They getting cracked and tossed off the cliff. Right. Be headed. Caligula's movie, he was to bury the motherfuckers head up and pass some type of the book. Oh, he's chopping his head off. Oh. Mm. I was trying to teach my nephew a little, just, just rapping about some Roman history, man. I turned on Caligula. Ten minutes into the movie, I would've thought that motherfucker off, man. He didn't he learn shit. Don't want to, you know, he didn't like, find it even interesting? No, nah, hell no. Man. Really? Hell no, man. He said, Caligula. The movie Caligula, he couldn't even watch that, man. That's, like, like, that's like one of the best movies ever made. It's like, man, I gotta, I gotta drop you off. You think, you think two thirds would even enjoy that movie? Right. Because of all the wicked it's sexual shit. Yeah, you think it's like a damn near a porno. Oh, oh, that's a Jake's too. Look at this bitch. God damn. I bet you they got weed, pills, and they got everything, bro. Right, right, right. Condoms. Yeah, they, they got, they ready to get it, son. They just up to no good. I bet you they came straight from the bottoms. You know they came from the bottoms. Let's ask them. See if they get over here. Oh, wow. Hey, that's that's... Man, my fucking phone froze up, bro. Hey, get Revelation. What you better read? My shit is garbage. that yeah, you read that first. Revelation 2 and 26. Isaiah 16, 14. The sons also of them that afflicted thee shall come bending unto thee. Oh, that's a beautiful scripture. Go ahead. All yeah, that, that's who afflicted Israel? All these heathen nations afflicted our people. Start when the nation they eat them. Back, going all the way back to when we, we just escaped from Egypt and we needed to pass through their land and they wouldn't let us pass. So the, the Lord said back then, 
all the way going back to the time of the exes that the, the, we we gonna exterminate them goddamn Edomites, bro. Going back thousands of years, the Lord made that promise. Then do we did Esau is going they gonna be exterminated. Go ahead, read that again. I'm gonna get that amulet. Isaiah 16, 14. The sons also of them that afflicted thee shall come bending unto thee. And all that despise thee shall bow themselves down at the soles of thy feet. And they shall call thee the city of Yahweh, but show me outside the design of the Holy One of Israel. The design of the Holy One of Israel. Go ahead. I, I got a scripture going back to what I just said about how. Let me just read it. Deuteronomy 25 and 16. Actually, let's start 17. Deuteronomy 25, 17. Remember what Amalek, and Amalek, that's the, the chief house of so Edom. Why the hell would they still stay in there? Uh, why the hell would they still stay in there? Deuteronomy 25, 17. Remember what Amalek did unto thee by the way when you were come forth out of Egypt, how he met thee by the way and smote the hindmost of thee, even all that were feeble behind thee when thou was faint and weary, and he feared not the Most High. Therefore it shall be when Yahweh thy Allahiah hath given thee rest from all thine enemies round about, and the land which Yahweh thy Allahiah giveth thee for an inheritance to possess it, that thou shalt blot out the remembrance of Amalek from under heaven, and thou shalt not forget it. But look, you know, you got people like, I shall not abhor Edomite. But that was two chapters before this. And this clearly says they're going to be exterminated. You know? So the first, they just ain't going to get straight exterminated. First, they're going into slavery. There's a process to the extermination. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know, they they want to hold motherfuckers in prison for 50 years before they execute them. So they're going to get the same treatment. Yeah, yeah, they're gonna put in the pit after a few days we're this one. We're after a while. Yeah, yeah. So we're gonna be kicking it, fucking beating up on, you know. Cause just killing them, that's too easy. Yeah, yeah. They're some of I mean, it all depends on their status. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Definitely. Cause you, you, you don't just kill royalty. They gotta suffer. Oh, like, just like, check this out. Man, Alexander, he's an Edomite, but uh, he knew the way it went. When he went and fought against the Persians, somebody had killed the Persian king, right? And then he, he found a man to kill the king and killed him because he said only royalty is allowed to kill royalty. You're not, you're not supposed to just be killing royalty like that, right? So we're going to take all the uh, all the Edomite princes and kings and all that. They all going to in Europe, man. We just ain't going to kill them. Ooh, all in that land. It's the kings. They all up in there, man. You see them on the news every once in a while. Them top rabbis, too. Mm -hmm. You see them on the news every once in a while. They yeah. talk about the cut. Yeah, they still got kings in Norway. Nor kings still run Norway. All over there, yeah. And those are not Israelites. Yeah. Those are not descended from the ancient Vikings. There's no way possible. Okay. Watch, yep. watch when they be having those ceremonies. The king, king over there now. When they be having those ceremonies. They all be out in the, you know, in the, in the, in the, in the, within those seats and shit. Yep. Yeah. They, gonna, they gotta go to slave. We ain't gonna kill them. There's a lot of them, too. I mean, a lot of them. Woo! Isaiah 24 and 21. It shall come to pass in that day that Yahweh shall punish the host of the high ones that are on high and the kings of the earth upon the earth. And they shall be gathered together as prisoners are gathered in the pit. They shall be shut up in prison. And after many days, they shall be busy. Yeah, there you go. That's it. So we're gonna be. They, they just sitting in that, you know, in that little pit. <laughs> they don't know when we gonna come in and terrorize. They don't know. That's torture itself, man. Yeah, just wait, wait. That's torture itself. Can you imagine we gonna get the kingdom, man? We gonna be playing with our toys and shit. You know? We, they gonna, we gonna have sleeping in a bed of leeches and <laughs> lice. Giant spiders. Spider. <laughs> Giant spiders. They're terrifying spiders. Spiders that's gonna be talking to they have. The yeah, the spiders. Whoops. <laughs> wow, you just took it to the new level, bro. <laughs> right, right, right. 
I can see it though. I can see it. It's gonna be bugged out. It's gonna be bugged out. I can see the spider talking to you. Good way it fucked out. The Lord had a donkey talk to Balaam. That's right. That's right. He's gonna have a spider talk to your ass. That's gonna be a big spider. It's gonna be like that spider on the uh the Lord of the Rings spider. You see the Lord of the Rings spider? When he took Frodo and wrapped his ass up in the web. What do you mean? You ain't see that? Spider's like the worst fucking creature ever. Spider got eight legs too. Oh, he probably didn't get an out of the Probably get an out of the trunk. You know? Probably got some of that good knowledge in there too. Right, right. right. I just went to the shit pop off with most of my to turn the earth back on and come after him. The giant spider's gonna get this thing in the too. I just that's why I'm be thinking about talking spiders all night, man. <laughs> I, can, I can see it though, I can see it. I can see it. Yeah. Them motherfuckers just talking shit to you. Like, you know, just looking at you talking like motherfucker. They that the spider gonna be hitting scriptures too. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be stuck. He's gonna hit him with a scripture before he bites his ass. The scripture said the spirit of the Lord is gonna be upon the whole earth. It did say that. The whole earth. God! Shit. Like even the trees, the trees are gonna rejoice. The plants gonna rejoice. The trees gonna the be bird, snatching them. Folks. The birds gonna be singing them beautiful songs. You are gonna hear the beautiful melodies from the birds. They gonna sound like some Beethoven coming out of the trees. Not no chup 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 chup. None of that. Because if you can hear a bird, you really can throw some harmony. They can. I be hearing them throw down beats sometimes. They be like perfect, perfect rhythm. And then the other one to join in. The crickets too, bro. The crickets can get it. Crickets begin it in. They got their little form of communication. This is make time scene. Certain shit. You can hear the trees. Yeah, them locusts. Boy, that's the creepiest shit. You hear that? It calms down. Just think of the Lord put the spirit on all them locusts just to come out of the tree. What the hell? This motherfucker, man. You can hear him every step. Yeah. Every step heavy as hell. I don't even like walking on this shit. It's supposed to run smooth, man. You're supposed to hear it You're supposed to glide. Yeah. Like a like a gazelle. You're supposed to hear it. <laughs> You're supposed to make take them wide strides. Wisdom of Solomon 5 and 17. He shall take to him his jealousy for a complete armor and make his creature his weapon for the revenge of his enemies. Hmm. Make his creature for the revenge. Read that again. Wisdom of Solomon 5 and 17. He shall take to him his jealousy for a complete armor and make the, make the creature his weapon for the revenge of his enemies. these that fly as a cloud and as a dove to their windows. Surely the isles shall wait for me and the ships of Tarsus first to bring thy sons from far their silver and their gold with them unto the name of the Lord thy power and to the Holy One of Israel because he hath glorified thee. And the sons of strangers shall build up thy walls and their kings shall minister unto thee. That's a beautiful description. For in my wrath I smoke thee, but in my favor, I have Yeah, right. Because the wrath, the, the reason our people are so messed up like this right now, because the Lord, he poured out his wrath and fury on us, bro. Now the Lord going to have mercy on us. He's going to put all these heathens under our feet. That's going to be beautiful, bro. That's right. Hey, that, did you get that Revelation 2 and 26? I got it right here. Because uh, that goes hand in hand with that. Revelation 2 and 26. And it's the New Testament. And he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end. Unto the end. You got to keep the works unto the end. That's doing his work. Go ahead. That's the works. To him will I give power over the nation. To him I'll give power over the nation. Right, because in the kingdom of heaven, we gonna have, you gonna, you still going to have structure in Israel. You're going to have, even though everybody's going to be, you know, the first shall be last and the last shall be first, but you still going to have the higher echelon of Israel, mm -hmm. the governing body and all that, right? Go ahead. Because Daniel says that some of our people they gonna they'll be in the kingdom, 
but they're going to have that, that everlasting shame and contempt. Yeah. That's yeah. two-thirds. Yeah. Go ahead. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron, as the vessels of potter shall they be broken to shivers, even as a... I receive of my father. That's, I will give him the morning star. That's beautiful. So it's just said we're gonna rule all these heathen nations with a rod of iron. What does that mean? What do you do with a rod of iron? You crack people upside the head with it. <laughs> it didn't say there's a potter the vessel, they're gonna be broken to pieces. Yeah, 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 yeah. So what does that mean? Right, right. Therefore thy gates shall be open continually. They shall not be shut day nor night, that men may bring unto thee the forces of the Gentiles, and that their kings may be broke. Forces of the Gentiles, bro. Just like in the kingdom back in the old school, we had Hiram building temples for us. He's a Canaanite, you know what I'm saying? Those Gentiles ain't Israelites either. Oh, hell no. We gonna, we just talking about, you got it right, because people get shit twisted. You got it twisted. But we got to have servants in the kingdom, and we ain't going to have no Israelite slaves, so. Um, for the nation and kingdom that will not serve thee shall perish. Yea, those nations shall be utterly wasted. Do any of you guys have a dollar to help me get on the bus? Sorry. Says in the blue letter, it says a staff of walking stick, a twig, rod, for rod. Yeah, and a rod, which one is beat? <laughs> which one is beat? <laughs> Man, I'm tired. Yeah, everybody's hustling. Hustlers now. Hustlers, three hustlers. It says most work, Chris, rude, whatever the hell that is. I don't know. Which one's Yeah, rod. What's that? What's that? Right here. Yeah. Uh, most rigorous rule, rigorous, 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 the glory of Lebanon shall be unto thee, the fir tree, the pine tree, and the box together, to beautify the place of my sanctuary, and I will make the place of my feet glorious. We will be walking on gold. Um, it tells you that with the, uh, how in the kingdom it tells you about all the doors. I'm going to see about the gates, I mean. I'll see if I can find Go ahead. Okay. The sons also of them that afflicted thee shall come bending unto thee, and all they that despise thee. That says the same thing as uh, Deuteronomy 25, because we're at Amalek, they afflicted us. Mm -hmm. It even got the hindermost part of us, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. Taking advantage of the weak and the children and all that. Right. So they gonna get it, bro. Obadiah go into that too. Yeah. And all they that despise thee shall bow themselves down at the soles of thy feet, and they shall call thee the city of the Lord. <laughs> It doesn't Esau despise Jake though, don't he? No, despise He had, had a burning hatred ever since no. he sold his birthright. He'd yeah. had that burning hatred in him. Yeah. You know what I mean? The city of the Lord, the Zion of the Holy One of Israel, whereas thou hast been forsaken and hated, so that no man went through thee. I will make thee an ex eternal excellency, a joy of many generations. Thou shalt also suck the milk of the Gentiles, and shall suck the breasts of kings. That's not literal. <laughs> That's not literal. I got that just mean riches, they're gold. Yeah, they're, yeah. I got some uh, precepts on that though. <laughs> well, I mean, because in the kingdom they're all gonna serve us though. That's so. right, that's right. That's I mean, it's all gonna be all good though. That's right. What's this? I got a lot more to stuff. I'll go ahead. Um, And thou shalt know that I, the Lord, am thy Savior and thy Redeemer, the mighty one of Jacob. For brass I will bring gold, and for iron I will bring silver, and for wood, brass, and for stones, iron. I will also make thy officers peace and thy exacted righteousness. Violence shall no more be heard in thy land. 
wasting nor destruction within thy borders. But thou shalt call thy wall salvation and thy gates praise. Oh, that's beautiful. The gates. I'm about to go into that too. The sun shall be no more thy light by day, neither for brightness shall the moon give light unto thee, but the Lord shall be unto thee an everlasting light in thy power, thy glory. Thus thy sun shall no more go down, neither shall thy moon withdraw itself. <laughs> That's that poetic yeah, language right. right there, you know what I mean? People, don't we mean the kingdom of heaven there's going to be no sun? <laughs> it, you know, some people just ain't too smart, yeah, you know? They ain't got no spiritual eye. For the Lord shall be thine everlasting light, and the days of the morning shall be ended. Thy people also shall be all righteous. All righteous. You know what I'm ain't gonna be no be. Ain't gonna be no sauces, sauces and bacon, ham, breakfast, and, and no. Ain't gonna be no pork eating in the kingdom of heaven. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ain't gonna be no bacon in the kingdom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> A lot of people just looked on that one. Hey, your boy said we in the kingdom though. Your boy that's. Oh, uh, he's whacked out. The drug dealer that stands. Oh, there definitely ain't gonna be no such thing as divorces in the kingdom. They, there's going to be no no uh, title called baby's daddy in the kingdom. <laughs> baby mama. Baby Baby's, mama. yeah, mama. They, they, they going to be no such thing in the kingdom of heaven. It will not exist. There will be no child support in the kingdom. That will not.